Hi, hello, I am Round the Wheel, and you are watching Lemmings for the Sega Genesis. And today we are on level 9 of taxing, Perseverance. There will not be a lot of persevering here, because this is this is an oldie but a goodie, and it's uh, fairly simple, as long as I don't screw anything up too badly. Let's get our digger out here. And then one guy is going to go on and be a floater, because he's going to make it over the pit in time. Alright, where do I want to mine from so that I... Uh, all right, where I want to make this a pretty early shot here. I want to get down into the. I gotta pump up that release rate, get everybody in that hole before they start going curse splunk. Okay. Oh, good. Well, he already chunked into the hole. Man, that's that's a very ungenerous steel area. Steel areas have been kind of easy to deal with so far, but this one not so much. And we can kind of speed this up by just having him bash his way out because he's gonna bash to the right. They're all safe. That's basically what I wanted to do anyway in the first place. So there we go. Y'all make y'all's way out. Exit stage right, and then exit stage left as well. That is, the, yeah, not much persevering going on. Persevering. Not much persevere fire perspiration, because 99% of Lemmings is perspiration. The other half is luck. Level 10. Izzy Wizzy Lemmings get busy. This is a remake of Lemmingology, and now I have to save all of them, so... Let's see how that goes. Oh, yes, there's no climbers. That's the fun part right there. And eh, I think I can probably I think I can probably still manage to do this with uh Okay, if I'm really quick, I can uh I can get right on the ball here. Okay, yeah, you're coming out pretty quickly there, Mr. Man. All right. Now let's uh now let's have somebody uh cut through there. Okay, is that going to work the way I want? No, it's absolutely not. I need to come from farther back, I think. You can kind of see what I was trying to do. I was trying to mine through the bridge, but I should have started building from the left over here. Me dumb. Me big dumb. Okay. Uh, you can't just go to the nuke button on the menu. Well, they're all just going to fall into a pit anyway, so who cares? Usually when I do this level, I just have everybody cram up and accomplish everything at the same time. But uh, Okay, let's get some good room here. Okay, yes, a hole has been cut, and he's going to make... Ah, yes, yeah. Why have a bunch of Lemmings go and do everything at once when you can just... Uh, okay, let's make sure to pop him in right at the beginning of the pit there. Oh, yeah, we won't use very many builders at all. This is going to be wonderful. This is going to be wondermous. Yeah, I used to just let them all kind of go at the same time, and then I would let them just cram up and do whatever, and I'd use all my builders at once, and there would be a big old pile. But why does it have to be that way? When we can just mine through a bridge and have a little, nice little shelter built for them. Give them shelter, that's what I say. And we have no floaters, so we have to be a little more careful about our distribution of stuff. He has some walking room. Those little limbing boots were made for walking, and those little limbing fists were made for bashing. So I ought to be, well, no, yeah. Don't have him build the safety just yet. Let's not get too crazy with the sickness here. All right, we are doing we're doing just fine. I've never quite done that level that efficiently before, so it's nice to have been able to revisit it and do things a little bit differently than I would have otherwise. In fact, I only needed I only needed a few builders to accomplish. This. I only needed half of my builder contingent to get this done, and that is the way we do around here. And if he runs into that and just makes a perfect little patch, he is going to make a perfect little patch because I want to make him make a perfect little patch. Man, you don't get much more. Man, if, as long as you have to mend a bridge, you don't get them looking much nicer than that. That is that is grade A 100% wonderful, and we are going to keep on trucking here. I think we might be able to... I think living on the edge is coming up sometime soon, but that level is a little bit long for the purposes of the map, so I doubt we're going to get to do that one, though. You never know. I could be pleasantly surprised. The Ascending Pillar scenario. Now they're making us do it... Oh, man, this is the this is the been there, seen that, done it. Except they gave it the same name twice. That's weird. I didn't think we would see it again because we were having to do it the same way twice. And that, that makes it a little bit funky. But, yeah, now we have, yeah, this is another 100 percenter. Where you, this is that lump of levels that I was talking about last time. Except they made the lump even bigger. Because now there are 100 percent levels uh, that are completely original and new to this version. So, let's see. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and uh, get a guy out here. All right, you uh, you do your thing. All right, pump it up. 
And yeah, this is going to be a little tough uh, judging the distance on the pillars because now I have to get it. Well, no, I don't have to get it exactly right. But I don't have a lot of time on the clock. That's the thing. The more you turn around, the more you ultimately kind of suffer. So, so he's going to be our climber guy. And we're going to make this a little bit easy on... Oh, hey, I... Well, I didn't see that coming. Didn't see that coming either. Why don't we all just die? Let's have a big old diapalooza. Okay, they're coming out too fast for that to work. So I'm going to have to dig, I think, two separate holes. Let's get the first one going. Oh, my gosh. And then let's let that guy do his. Yeah, they're, like, right next to each other. But, uh... Oh boy, how far do I go with this? This is gonna be this is gonna be troublesome. I need to kind of let him go a ways down here, and obviously this guy needs to be my uh, climber. And I'm gonna have him build now. Okay, yeah, that should prevent everybody else from getting out. And now I can do this. Okay, yeah. So now, now everything is fine, and I should have to. Okay, yeah, and he can't turn around. Okay, I need to like ultra judge my distances really well here. Okay, yeah. So either way, this should not be too bad. Okay, wow, that was a great first guess. Okay, yeah, so now everybody is, uh, if I start from like right here, if I start from like a full inch back, like try to mentally visualize what I can do with my, what I can do with my fingers, like as far as measuring a bridge, how long I think it is. Oh man, I am I am getting down with it here. Okay, yeah, this ought to be another good one. Yeah, if I build roughly if I build roughly at the first thick part here, I think I'll have it down pretty well. Measure twice, cut once, or in my case, measure once, cut once, because that's all the luck we get. And uh, well, that one might end up being a little bit short. I might have to go one time. Well, it might bump up against the edge there. You never know. Oh, you better know. You better if you know what's good for you. Yeah, there we go. All right, and let's go back a little bit farther from this one. Okay, so I have plenty of bridges. I have plenty of bridges. I don't want to screw this up, though. I don't want to... Oh, boy. This could get ugly. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where do you think you're going? All right. Go ahead and just cut through that. And then, uh, yeah, we'll get you going on your usual dig. But this time, I think... This time I think we have to do the usual method of uh, I dig a little bit, I get about halfway through, and then I mine through. We'll see how that works out. All right, I'm going to start mining at exactly the two-minute mark because we need to get this cracking. He needs to get through that pillar. I think that'll work out. I was a little scared of it the first time I did this level because, because I wasn't sure how well I would be able to make it work out, but... It seems to be working fairly well. So now I have a little over a minute to go build these guys out of their little trap. And I can actually I can actually do a substantial screw-up job on this and still be okay for the most part. Yeah, see, now they can all walk up in there. And if I get a crowd of lemmings walking so that they go to the left... Oh, that just, that just worked out swimmingly beautifully with the two pits being that close to each other. God, go fuck yourself. Really? Okay, let's uh, let's get out of here then. There we go. Yeah, just a few more bridges to patch things up. And uh, okay, yeah. Wow, that is quite a tidy little mess. And now I'm worried about time. I hope time does not factor in too poorly here. Okay. All right. It seems he was able to make. Well, he was able to make it by digging. The others, I'm not worried about them. That's a pretty good height there. Get right about midway, you can break it up with a nice little minor tunnel. I had nothing to be worried about. It's not going to take a full minute to make that walk. Why is my goat panties all in a twist? I don't understand. Here we go. So now, yeah, that one was uh, that one was not so bad. Not as bad as I thought it would be, given the limitations of the controller. I thought, man, multitasking is really tough with this thing. But that pause button, that pause button being right there where your thumb is. It's more useful than I gave it credit for. Living on the edge. We do get to do this one. And this one is really easy because we have 10 lemmings and we only have to save 80%. So we can make a pretty obvious blocker trap. And, uh, in fact, this one might be super easy. Okay, yeah, let's get going here. I don't remember this being part of this setup, but I'm, I'm just going to run with it. It's no big deal. And I have nine bridges. And I have to, I think it's going to take roughly two to get to this pit. Though we may be able to reach the wall with one. 
I am, after all, doing as the title of the level says and living on that edge. And then one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so basically, if I get one perfect, I have room to screw up no matter what. Okay, so come on out. Come on out and do the blocker thing, and let's just get the rest of you out here. Okay, beep, beep, and beep. Holy mother. Okay, yeah, so now we want to be careful. We want to not... Okay, yeah, I was going to say, we don't want to have him bashing during the during the builder animation sequence because we don't wouldn't want him to shave off that last tile there. Okay, so that's pretty much as perfect as you can get it. And if I can continue on in that fashion, after such a fashion, if I can continue getting pixel perfect, uh, then we should have a pretty good entree to the remainder of the level. Yeah, that's going to work out basically pixel perfect as long as I can keep hitting that button. And one last bridge. Sealed it. Signed, sealed, delivered. They're yours. I never really understood why this was a taxing level, to be honest. In fact, I think this ledge is actually thinner in the Amiga PC version, which, okay, uh, I better make sure he's actually, okay, yeah. That would be my luck to turn away and leave him to his own devices for five seconds, and then he ends up missing it by a pixel. That would exactly be my luck for sure. But yeah, I never, except for the pixel precision of getting on the edge there, I never really understood why this was a taxing level. They're more than generous with the task assignments. So, I was never really, I was never really that keen on that level. I thought it should probably have been more of a tricky level. And I'm sure if I had worked hard enough, I could have even saved 100%. It wouldn't have been that hard, quite honestly. But, let's get moving on, because uh, we cannot get much closer than right on. Well, we could have gotten much closer than that. We could have gone beyond that even, I'm sure. But we're just here. Walk through here, but cautiously. I love I love the, like, super obvious hint there. Walk through here, but cautiously. Like, there might be a trap or something. 50 lemmings, 96%. So I can make a pretty simple blocker trap. <laughs> what? No way! <laughs> oh, wow. That's okay. Yeah, this is... This is from Oh No More Lemmings, and they just retranslated it for... Oh, that's... That's a little bit sleazy, game. <laughs> oh, wow. You know, you know, I gotta say, that does take a little bit of chutzpah to do that. <laughs> oh, man. This is like 31 flavors of Fantastic right here. That's just... That's just splendid. I absolutely love it. And then we'll get him right up on the edge of the wall. For those of you not familiar with uh, Oh No More Lemmings, which is where this level is from, this is the first level of the second difficulty rating in that game. And that's where the game starts to get uh, substantially harder. I wonder if they're sending me a message here by telling me that. And was that close enough? I hope it was close enough. I'm sitting here laughing my head off, laughing my fool head off, and I might not even blow through the wall perfectly as I need to. No, I totally did. <laughs> I cannot believe that. That is the most fantastic thing I think I've ever seen. That is, man, that is gutsy. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, blow up, little man. You did a good job here today. That was, oh man, that was 100%. Oh, well, if we start seeing Oh No More Lemmings levels from here on out, then man, we'll be getting basically three games money's worth. That is, value each moment. Aww. What a nice little thing to stop and say. Oh, in the middle of all our all of our laughter and hubris, we're told to stop and smell the roses each day. Ah, I'd rather blow up more lemmings. Let's see, 96%. Oh, and this is a... <laughs> You've got to be shitting me! Another one?! Oh my god! Okay, well, this is a, this is a remake of a much more insidious level, though. Let's, uh... Let's, let's uh, start from one spot. Uh, the middle of this pillar seems like it'd be a good starting point. Okay, no, that's not quite. A little bit farther back. Oh my god, I cannot... I seriously cannot believe this is a thing that they're doing. Uh, this will be splat height if I happen to do this. Well, it might end up being a little more complicated than all that. So, uh... might end up being a little more complicated than the original... Uh, it's not, quote, that's a great level. That was the one before it. What was this one called? I don't remember what this one was called in Oh No More Wings, but it's pretty much a carbon copy. Uh, how am I going to... Oh, yeah, I need to get a guy to blow up, I think, maybe, like, right here to get him to the exit in time. Okay, that okay, that makes more sense. So it basically is the same thing. Let's... 
All right, let's let's make a little bit more of an effort to uh, do this one right. But we might as well let them finish out their little death march. Value each moment, because you never know when you're going to be called upon to be a walking suicide bomber so that your friends can continue living lives of prosperity and joy. There we go. That Okay, that's one dead on. Okay, so now if we go from about... I'm thinking if we go from roughly the base of the triangle here. That's my next hypothesis point. One, maybe a little not close enough. That was, yeah, that was just a little teensy bit off. We'll have it in the bag next time, though. Okay, just a skosh more upward ought to do it. I think if we uh, do it from here this time, that's perfect. Okay, that was not actually perfect because one guy bit the dust, and I have to save 96%. So it's got to be like right there in that little spot where he also falls on the hole. But there is, there is kind of, well, maybe if I slow one guy down, maybe that's what the builder will be good for. Although if I build from here out, he might actually end up overshooting it. So I don't know. Uh, uh, the builder might actually come in handy here. You, um, hmm. Okay, so yeah, that was more or less the right spot. But let's see if we can uh, slow his friend down a little here. Yeah, there we go. Now, now everybody's saved because, okay, yeah, nobody splats. And then he should finish his bridge before the end of the curve here. I think, I hope. He better. Okay, yes, he did stop right there. Okay, good. Oh, man. Well, that man, that is a nice little uh, save tactic right there. I never had to use it in the Oh No More Lemmings version, but it's nice to have had it here for uh, my benefit and edification. And I ended up raising the release rate after they were all out. What a poop. Okay, well, it's the, I, I, like the, uh, I like the addition of the masher traps here. That adds a bit of stakes to the equation. I think before it was just mere splatting that you had to worry about. But here you're trying to get people not crushed. So there's a little bit... Yeah, this version of the level does bring a little bit to the table. But overall, overall, it's pretty funny, I think, that they're actually shamelessly recycling Oh No More Lemmings levels. But speaking of shamelessly recycled, we should be coming up on a special one right about now. I think it's time for uh, What an Awesome level. And somebody told me that these levels, some for some reason, some unknown reason, take longer to load. So uh, let's see if that bears out. Yep, What an Awesome level. I like the space worms in this level, but I... I uh, but yeah, this should this should be a bit of a breather for us. Not that this whole day hasn't been sort of a breather. We've been kind of firing through levels really quickly here. Yep, there's that uh, unresponsiveness. It does take a little longer to load this level. Probably has to look for the pack or something, like the level pack or something. Oh my! Well, it is a little bit different. It's not terribly. It's not too terribly uh, different. Uh, we can probably we can probably just bash though. Oh yeah, this should be. This should actually be uh, easy to pull off. We don't have to use we don't have to use too many blockers. Actually, we can just have a guy start bashing because nobody's gonna walk up through that. I don't think. I mean, I could be mistaken. No, I'm not though. Wow. Yeah, and we're gonna we're gonna cut right through his little third eye here. We're gonna make him third eye blind, and that's gonna be that's gonna do it for him. Nobody is going to attack us, don't worry. There is nothing trap-worthy about this. Though if the mouth was a trap of some sort, that would be cool. But you can't really make... Ah, uh, the, the music is a definite downgrade from what I recall. Do -do. There's the good part, though. Do -do 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 -do. Do -do 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 okay, yeah, there we go. Hitting that little T-tiny piece of land. Okay, yeah. And now we ought to be able to... Oh, but this is a bit of a funky build right here. How are we going to get up through this? Well, we don't really have much to worry about. I I plan to build into this star so that I can walk on top of it a little. And then he should be able to walk down onto that little piece of land. This is going to get... Oh, this could get dirty in a hurry, though. Uh, nothing nothing entirely unsalvageable, I'm sure, but... And ended up not even hitting our heads. Dang. Wow, this level... Wow, the changes they made to this level ended up just making it a little piece of weenie crap. And we can have a guy uh, climb over. And he can be our blocker. Sorry. I know I know the life of a climber is exciting, but... Oh... Actually, I should have had another guy go over and do that first. 
yeah, there's something a little bit lacking in this particular version of the song. But it's okay. I guess we'll get over it. Now we just have to build up the exit. The layout is definitely way different because of the... This is one of the this is one of the special levels that uses the extra length to its advantage. Well, wow, we're really not going to hit those stars, are we? They are really tiny and inconsequential. Well, let's go ahead and uh, make him block there, and then we can uh, send another guy over the top. Well, someone said this one was way easier because of the layout changes, but it's also it's also different in a more interesting way. I think. I'm. A, what are you doing? Why? 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 Why would you do such a thing? It's probably the slowdown that's slowing you down, huh? Hang up your hang-ups, buddy. I don't want to hear about it here. We did not come here for the bum-out show. And you will go to the exit, and you will do your thing, and uh, we'll have everybody out of here soon enough, I'm sure. In fact, we can probably just uh, bash through now. Let's, uh, let's not even worry about it. Let's, uh, let's just get everybody here and floating, walking around. Will they be able to walk over this? Everybody's safe because of uh, all the stuff going on here with that big horn, so I see no re... Well, they'll walk up onto the step, and then they'll probably be able to backtrack. Yeah, they're actually able to backtrack because of how I had to... Because of how the piece of bridge actually went through that one horn. So, yeah, nothing nothing I'm too terribly nervous about, though. There's pretty much no way to make anyone splat here. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, call it on that one. We're going to call time of completion uh, probably about roughly 20 minutes in. I've done a pretty good job of keeping pace on this particular... Uh, let's play, I think. Nothing, no no really egregious time limits yet, though the present and Sunsoft levels have yet to uh, tear that to shreds. So let's go ahead and blow this guy up, and then we'll get right on up here. I actually, this is almost kind of a different level. Very much unlike the other special levels in that way. I was actually afraid he was going to blow a little hole through the bridge there for a second. But I've saved my, uh, oh, it's actually 80% here, I think. I think it's 70%. Well, it may very well be 80%. Who even freaking knows? Somebody out there knows. I know somebody has all this crap stored in their head. But that is going to do it for us today. Next time we are going to move on to level 16. We're halfway through the taxing levels now. Making good time once again after the uh, awful fluke of a few days ago when I really lost my bearings. And I will see you guys next time on level 16 for the second half of these so-called taxing levels.